What's up guys? You're looking at a, what I believe is an 86, I think to 90, 91 Oldsmobile Toronado. As I probably stated in the title. Man, I haven't seen one of these in a while. These were never common cars. Matter of fact, I got this new friend of mine, right? He came over to my place to buy a couple of 69 Oldsmobile Toronado ads that I had. There's the 47 roll fast there. And uh, which I've been riding for hours. But the Toronado, frankly, is one of these cars that they built for decades, but it never sold amazingly well. Uh, as a matter of fact, comparatively to, let's say, to a Riviera, uh, well, actually, no, I could say the, the most they ever sold, I think, was when they came out in 66, let's say, to like 70. And then after that, you know, sales lagged, and then the oil crisis happened in 73, which hurt sales even more. Uh, so it's really always neat to see a Toronado of any year. And uh, it's uh, kind of cool, got the original caps on it, same hubcaps as an 88 or 98. Hmm. Looks to me like it's uh, wasn't winter driven ever. Uh, somebody loved this car and uh, let me just get a nice side view of it there. Uh, yeah, we're in Montreal by the way where I was born and raised and uh, I don't even know what the hell street I'm on here. I'm in the St. Michel district I think. I'm not sure. Now I know if I say this a lot about these old cars that I see on the side streets, but most of, the, most of them you see when they're on this parked on the street is because they're not worth much. You know, it's not like I've ever seen a 56 Fairlane parked on a fucking street anywhere in the city. Of course not, because we live in a city of savages. But a car like this, you can get for like, you know, a couple of thousand bucks. You know, look, you can see she's got some wear. She probably has about, I don't know, 150,000 miles on it, kilometers. Of course, up here in Canada, it's kilometers. Eh? So you can see some age there on the uh, those um, concealed headlights, but again, it's still in very nice condition. I mean, for the age, the car is 30 years old easily, you know. Oh, look at that leather interior. Yeah, yeah, probably judging by that interior, 86, 7, 8, 9, fully loaded, probably. Power windows, maybe power seats, power door locks, the whole shebang, you know. Cool. It's a cool car, you know? Everything else today is so fucking boring, as I always say. I mean, it's refreshing when you see something like this. It's different. It's, you know, that's what I live for. Let me just have a quick look underneath. Oh, that's weird. There's like some kind of a splash guard right here where you can't even see underneath. Wow, that's strange. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's weird. Like, what is that, to reduce drag or something? Oh God, it's humid today. It's too hot today. Anyway, well, uh, so that's it guys. Uh, nice car to see and uh, let's just take one little peek. I don't know what happened to that antenna, but I can tell you that's not original because my mom, she had an 89 Camry and the antenna, I don't know what happened. Somebody broke it off so they replaced it with something like this, which looks like shit basically. Beautiful interior. Look at that shifter. Very, very nice. Wow. Looks nice and cozy, you know? Uh, and it's not a boat, you know me, I love the boats, you know? Look how common this is. Mercedes, Mercedes, black, all black. Boring. Anyway guys, well, that's about it. Uh, I'm heading slowly home because I've been biking for hours, so... Uh, adios.